the House of Representatives has resolved to investigate the decision of the federal government to ban operation of Twitter platform in the country. Speaker of the House, Femi Bajabiamila, made this known at the resumption of plenary after a two weeks' recess. Following the general outcry that visited the suspension of Twitter by the federal government on Friday, June 4, the House of Representatives has queried the process used by the federal government to ban the social media platform. The House says the platform has been a potent means of communication and commerce in Nigeria. The House further reserved to invite the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, to brief the House on this decision. Fidelity to our responsibilities in situations like this require the legislature and legislators to, as in the words of Rudyard Kipling, keep your head when all about you are losing theirs. We listen to the agitation of the people, but we also hear from government so that from the abundance of information, we reach the level of awareness that allows us to discharge our role dispassionately. It is in service of our obligations under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and our moral duty to the Nigerian people that the leadership of the House has mandated from today the House Committees on Communication, Justice, Information and Culture and National Security and Intelligence to immediately commence an investigation to determine, one, the circumstances of the decision by the Federal Government of Nigeria to ban the operations of Twitter in Nigeria, and two, the legal authority for the ban on the operations of Twitter in Nigeria. The Speaker mandated committees on communication, justice and legal matters, information to investigate the decision within 10 days for legislative actions. But members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP caucus in the House of Representatives disagreed with the resolution of the House leadership. The caucus staged a walkout protest of the House leadership refusal to allow the suggestion to unban the banned Twitter pending the outcome of the interface with the federal government. Mr. Speaker, my concern is that as a Nigerian and for several other Nigerians out there, the implication is that for 10 days that we have given our committee to work, that this breach will continue. And we don't even know how long thereafter that our interaction with the executive arm will last. Mr. Speaker, whilst I agree with the submission, with the position of the leadership of this House in total, I will only want to add that for breach of fundamental human rights, particularly right to fair hearing, right to freedom of speech and expression, that we should urge the executive arm in the interim, I use the word urge, the executive arm, in the interim to reverse this order pending the outcome of our interaction with the executive arm. Recall that the federal government on June 4 announced the ban on the Twitter platform handle, accusing it of double standard and tilting towards agents of destabilization against the Nigerian government. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.